Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. How y'all doing? Had a kids. I'm Q the Costa Rican, coach of the Chicago Dragon Pulse. Yes, sir. And today we're back with another Pokemon Draft League battle. This time we're in the PPL. It's week two, baby. We're trying to build off of last week's W, nail biting W. Uh, and here in week two, trying to get another win. Uh, we're going to against the homie Ellie, coach of the Shanghai Dragons. Really cool team. Really great coach. You should go check her out. Link to her channel in the description down below. But with that being said, guys, let's talk about the matchup right now. Put it on screen. Boom. She's got a Dragapult, baby. She drafted Pult, and you know how it is. We love her team. Her team's amazing. I really do like her team. Her top six, I feel like, can show up to every single battle, and, like, no one would question it. They'd be like, yeah, that's a good six that you brought to this battle. Um, very strong. Uh, Fire, Water, Grass Core, very strong. Dragon Steel, and then I guess a little Nine Tails Fairy Core. Um, that's the top seven, though. We were talking about top six, but yeah, like really, really fun team. And they got Terra Araquanid, which can go Water Fairy or I, maybe Steel. I think was the last one. Water Fairy Electric. Okay, Water Fairy Electric or um, a little Nine Tails. <gasps> That could go ice, ground, and water. But yeah, like really cool team. I really like your team. A lot of strong Pokemon. Just really well-rounded team. And there's a trap inch as well. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the team that we are going to be bringing today to fight the homie Ellie. We have Old Reliable, Rock Polish, three attacks, Terrapagos. This is all I need. This is all the coverage in the world I need. Terra Star Storm to hit everything. That's not Heatran or Dragapult. Ice Beam to hit Dragapult. Earth Power to hit Heatran. Ice Beam to hit Landorus, Superior. Terra Star Storm or Earth Power to hit Quillfish. They both do the same amount of damage. Earth Power to hit Lycanroc. Like, it, it just looks so... This Pokemon is just so reliably a great end game win condition. I love this Pokemon. We're going to run some more fancy sets in the future. But for right now, Rock Polish Heavy Duty Boots. Just guaranteed I'm getting this Rock Polish off. And I might just win in an end game. Who knows? Uh, up next, we have Meowskarada with the Wide Lens with Triple Axle. Because we don't want to be missing those Triple Axles. Uh, with Flower Trick Low Kick for the Heatran. And protect because I'm respecting, I am respecting the idea that they could bring first impression uh, trap inch. I was about to say hacksers. I'm respecting the idea that they could bring first impression trap inch to revenge my Meow Scarada. Because otherwise, this Pokemon kind of goes in. Flower Trick hits everything besides Dragapult and Heatran. Low Kick for Heatran. Triple Axle for Dragapult. Uh, Flower Trick for Hands. Like like we like, Triple Axle for Superior. Uh, I guess we don't really hit the Quillfish all that well, but like we we have really good coverage for their team. So I, I don't think Trappage is going to show up, but in the off chance that it does, and I don't have to just sack Meowskarata to it, I can click Protect instead. So that's kind of what we're going with there. Uh, up next, we have Tentacruel uh, with the Shuckaberry as Landorus Bait to hopefully catch it off guard and click Ice Beam on it. Uh, then we also have Flip Turn for Momentum, Rapid Spin, and T-Spikes because if they don't bring Hisui and Quillfish, T-Spikes look so, so good here to weaken things down like Iron Hands, Dragapult, and Araquanid. Up next, we have Choice Scarf Goldengers because it looks really solid. Uh, I just needed my dual stab in this matchup. Didn't really need anything else. I could have had Focus Blast instead of the other Ghost move, but I thought in the event where everything's T-Spiked and I can click Hex, that'd be really nice. And so otherwise, like some 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 rolls, Shadow Ball, some damage outputs, Shadow Ball might not have enough, but if they're status and I can click Hex, then it'll be doing even more. So that's kind of the goal there. And then we could trick something with our Choice Scarf to potentially enable either Zapdos, Hitmontop, or Terrapagos to set up in front of something. We have Zapdos with the Assault Vest. I didn't know what item to run on this, my guy, man. I didn't want I didn't want Scarf. I didn't want to be Choice Locked. I didn't want Life Orb to be like put in range of things. I didn't want um I guess I guess like a Salak Berry resist. I don't know. Regardless, I went with I went with AV just to maybe be able to trailblaze in front of a special attacker like Superior or something like that. And then I can uh, fire off Brave Birds after that. But this Pokemon looks uh, insanely good against Ellie's team, which has two potential Intimidate Mons that at least one of them is definitely coming. If it's not Landorus, then it's definitely Quillfish because T-Spice looks super good against their team. Um, but yeah, I, I just didn't really know what item to put on him. I was like, fuck it. Let's just give him an AV. Let's just see how it goes. Uh, and the last one, at least, we have Hitmon Top. This Mon, this Pokemon right here can literally just win the game. Once a rack when it goes down, if I get off a rapid spin, I just I just win. I just kill everything. It just I just life orb offensive hit my top just knocks out everything. It's gonna be kind of insane. Uh we are jolly with a lot of speed so that we can outpace a dragapult that is speed creeping now Skirata, uh after a rapid spin. Um and then CC is just really strong with terror fighting. This mon is either gonna be this mon or Kumfe, because both of them in theory can win pretty easily. Kumfe, if it was Terra Water, can set up in front of everything outside of quillfish toxicing me but then i was like ah, i feel like hit top does it in a faster way like i just rabbit spin once and then hit my top goes crazy whereas with comfort i'd have to like get at least like two calm mines up and then terra water 
So, like, with him on top, I can keep the Terra as a surprise factor. You know, like, I just felt like it, it was one of the two. And I, I ended up choosing to bring him on top instead of Comfort. But will, will I regret that? Let's find out. I don't know. Regardless, uh, that's the team that we are going to bring in today to try and fight Ellie here in week two of the PPL. You guys should totally go check out her channel. Link to her channel in the description down below. As well as all the other coaches that are here in the PPL. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Like the video. And with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoy the battle. All right, y'all. Here we are with our week two battle here in the PPL. Going up against the homie Ellie, the Dragapult team. Honestly, wouldn't, I'd be okay with losing uh, to Ellie. They, they got Dragapult. They got a Raccoonie. They got a bunch of really cool Pokemon and two Pokemon I really love uh, in this game. So uh, honestly, I'd be I'd be fine with it. And kind of it's kind of an insane team. And we had a silly a bit of a silly game. We have we have a bit of a silly game plan. So what do they want to lead off with? I don't fucking know. Um, I could lead off with my Kakaragato, but there's like some avid U-Turners in Pult and the Landorus. Uh, I think my quote-unquote, like, plan was to lead off with Tentacruel, um, but I honestly don't know anymore. I think I'm just gonna opt to lead off with Zapping Tins. I think it just makes the most sense. Uh, if they do lead off with something like a Raquinid, I can just Brave Bird it, but if they Terra, because it is a Terramon, into something else, it might be a bit of an issue. But yeah, we're just gonna bring Zapping Tins and see where on the day tanks on us. Let's see. If they like Terra, Water, or Fairy, which it's probably going to be Water, but if they Terra, Water, or Fairy, Brave Bird doesn't kill anymore, unfortunately. But, uh, well, we will have to attack it, and it'll be all right. They do lead off with IRL, which is this guy. Okay, so this is a bad lead. Some might say the worst lead we could possibly have. Um, oh, and it's Big Booster. Okay, I, we might just have to attack this and say, fuck it. Yeah, we might just have to attack this guy, because I would hate absolutely hate to uh let it swords dance for freezies so i think i'm just gonna attack this pokemon yeah i'm just gonna click brave bird i'm not really gonna think too much about it we're just gonna brave bird if they want to attack us with thunder punch or wild charge or whatever they're gonna they're gonna have to do that swords Dance, exactly this is why it was what i didn't want to happen i did not want a swords dance for free um Still no switch-ins. Couldn't help but notice. So, this being gone kind of sucks. Because they have two Intimidate Mons that we could pop off against. Um, but we can always come in and I think Revenge with my guy. We could Revenge with a few things, I think. And this being gone is really good for Turtle Power. So, I mean, yeah. I think I'm just going to say fuck it. And just click it again. Kind of wish I was Bandit now. Bandit would have went crazy in this in this specific lead matchup, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, getting Chip is really good. If they Drain Punch, that's crazy. Okay, they, they could have missed that, which would have been absolutely insane. Uh, but it's fine. It's fine. We bring in whoever, and I think we just pick up the kill. I don't remember what HP they're at. Uh, I, oh, man, I would hope Meowskarata can kill here. Uh, can Meow Meow kill here? Surely they're in range of... Wait, we clicked Brave Herd twice. So it did about potentially 80. So they should be at like 20%. So in theory, Meowskarata should kill. I hope. I fucking hope so. Um. Yes. Yeah. I think Meowskarata kills. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I don't know what I was worried about. Uh, we just clicked Flower Trick here. It crits. It gets a kill. I think Meowskarata's first KO of the season? Did it get... Like, no, it got a kill last week, right? No, did it? Honestly, I don't remember. I know it, you know, weakened a, um, a Sinistra. That's really all I remember. Regardless, we trade. We trade our Zapdos for an Iron Hands. Was it worth it? I don't know. Regardless, we can tank um, a Dragapult hit now. As well as a Landorus hit, I assume. Um, and we can triple axle the Landorus, so I don't think they would go Landorus now. But if they do, I'm staying in and I'm clicking triple axle. <gasps> it may not be stab, and we will get intimidated, but we have a 99% chance to land because we're holding the wide lens. And even after an intimidate, I'm very confident that we would Oko uh, Landorus. So I'm curious to see what they want to go into. If they go into something like Araquanid, we just stay in and click Flower Trick again. 
if they go into the uh, overquill, or not the overquill, the quillfish. I don't know what I would want to do there. I guess I could just go hard into Goldangers. But I did lose my... Um... Oh, this Mon. Okay. I don't want this to be able to get it rocks for free. So I think I am just going to low kick. I mean, it does a, it does a good amount of damage. So I'm just going to click low kick. And if they're running Magma Storm, then they could totally miss. Me and uh, uh, one of the homies were talking about the potential Magma Storm matchup. And I was like, they're not running Magma Storm Heatran. There's just no way. They don't want to miss. But then they're like, nah, bro. Magma Storm's like the most ran move on Heatran. And I was like, that's so silly to me. It's Choppleberry! Okay. Uh, is that 2 KO? We get burned. Amazing. I wouldn't have had it any other way, honestly. I wouldn't have had it any other way. They stealth rocks for free. That's very unfortunate. Wouldn't have had it any other way, guys. I love getting burned on Flame Body. <laughs> well, Meowskar out of the Lost Cause here now. Uh, we just start. We just click low kick again. Nothing to think about here. Very unfortunate. Our instant Flame Body burn. This is gonna do zero now, but it'll weaken it for everything else. So like that's it's not the end of the world. Uh, they do withdraw. Okay into bowl okay that's different intimidating me further i wish i had knockoff now but i unfortunately do not so this is a bit interesting because this is just a bit interesting because we could definitely spin we have two spinners like i'm not really that what the fuck was that i'm not really that worried um so I, I kind of want to just stay in, but this is also like enabling this. But this is also a lot. I'm just going to triple Axel. Like this Pokemon's a lost cause now. Poop tail. Oh. 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 I mean, we're minus two and burned. But we still kill this Landorus. And it's Rocky Helmet. Okay. Interesting. Okay, maybe we don't kill this Landorus. Okay, that bitch was fizz deaf as hell. I mean, hey, you want to give me HP on your landers? I'm perfectly fine with that. I didn't feel like switch. I'm burned and minus two. There's just no reason for me to switch anymore. <laughs> I just don't switch anymore. I just triple axle again. I don't give a fuck anymore. Wow. I'm actually curious. Wait, I probably could have flower tricked and killed this, but whatever. They withdraw again. Just giving us chip on the whole team with our burned Meow Scarada. We go back out into this Pokemon. Very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. But hey, look at that chip. Look at that chip. <laughs> look at this non-existent chip. Holy shit. This is terrible. All right, well, do what you want. I'm just going to fucking... <laughs> I'm just going to keep attacking you. Do what you want. <laughs> Meow Squad is a fucking lost cause. What a shitter. Oh my god. What a, what a bad Pokemon right now. This is doing like, like, zero thank you. Please kill me. <laughs> what a terrible Pokemon at the moment. Obviously, it's good. I, I'm not saying Real Skirata is bad um, normally. But just at the moment, that was just so fucking funny. Um, anyways, um, I am offensive Hitmon Toppers. Can I just knock this the fuck out? The question might shock you. Or the answer, the reason we might be able to is what I'm trying to get at. Um, I think I want to just go into my guy. I mean, Hitmontop goes fucking crazy here right now, doesn't he? Hitmontop goes fucking insano. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Like, Earthquake probably doesn't kill this because it's probably defensive. But a rapid spin into an Earthquake might. I'm actually curious. If this is, like... There's no way it's offensive, but... I mean, we might outpace, too, because we we're we jolly with damn near max speed. So, I am just going to rapid spin, though, first, initially. Yeah, I'm going to rapid spin first. If they go on a pole, could play, but I'm just going to rapid spin. Let's see what they do. Let us see what they do. 
I'm curious. They do withdraw. Okay, so do they go Pult? Do they go... If they go Heat Train and burn me, I would swear to God. Potato. I forgot who this was. Oh, please don't. Come on. Not my second physical attacker. Hit him on top, please. Please, put the team on your back. Come on, that was a crit. Don't do it. Don't do it. It would have popped up already, I think. Maybe... Life Orb. All these animations. Less, less. Yes, yes. All right, anyways. Uh, we click Earthquake here. I'm not getting Flame Body Burned. I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it. I'm just going to start clicking buttons with this Pokemon, I think. I've had it up to here. <laughs> I've had it up to here. We do get off the Earthquake, which is amazing. Not getting burned there was absolutely huge. So no more Stealth Rocks. Unless the Landorus also has Rocks, which it was defensive, so it might. Who knows? Um, but yeah, they see that we're Life Orb. They could just go out into Landorus on the triple axle and do like big damage to me i feel like one axle might fuck around and do it switch ins okay araquanid is in so unfortunately just like the nickname implies i don't have a switch into this pokemon but i could wait a minute this is my terramon isn't it it is <gasps> wait a minute i don't think i made this a unique terra type so i think terra fighting is my best bet <laughs> even if it stays yeah even if it stays water bug i'm aware that close combat is resisted but if i terra it is my best bet and i still have scarf gold dango shadow ball is very free outside of the, the overquill or the quillfish i mean um i think i gotta just go for it right like surely yeah. Oh, battle's happening. I gotta just go for it, man. I think so. Hopefully they tear it not into the fairy type. I think week one they brought fairy type. But uh I could totally see Terra Water here. Big terrifying hit on top, doing huge damage. This has a roll to kill if it's like just max HP or Aquanid. They don't Terra. I mean this was our best bet still. Yeah, like that, that was our best bet, unfortunately. <laughs> and also, unfortunately, I don't know what we're doing now. That they just liquidation, as they should. It'll definitely knock me out, because I'm minus one defense. So, Araquanid. Araquanid, Araquanid. I have Goldengo. Shadow Ball does not do enough. And Terra Water Liquidation does, in fact, knock me out. So... How much is Terra Water Liquidation? Oh my god. If it's Mystic Water, Terra Water Liquidation? Oh wait, that's not the, the right Terrapagos. Okay, never mind. Wait a minute, we're good. Mystic Water. Do I Terra Star Storm, though, is the question. I think I have to. I mean, I gotta do something here. I gotta do something here. Tentacruel also gets kind of fucked right now. Oh my god, yeah, wow. I get fucked on. I knew Arachnid was going to be crazy. Didn't think it would be this crazy. Um, I just need to, like a little bit of chip to put it in range of somebody. But I don't want to risk my Scarfer. Because that still looks really good. But honestly, Diane, if I just... Damn, I wish I had knockoff. I wish I had knockoff. <laughs> if I had knockoff, I, this would be nice to knock off its Mystic Water. So I wouldn't be doing more damage to my to my guy. Um, yeah, I genuinely, I think my best play is the rapid spin here because <laughs> it does the most damage. Um, so yeah, I'll just do that. I'm just going to rapid spin here. They're going to fuck. <laughs> They're going to tear water. <laughs> it's got to be tear water. There's no way you tear a fairy in front of this. Yep, that is going to do some damage. Damn, I wish I had knockoff. That is going to do some damage, guys. Um, How much does my Terra Star Storm do to Quillfish? This was my best move to click against this Pokemon. This may seem like a silly play, but this was genuinely my best move to click against this Pokemon. Oh, we don't die. That's crazy. Uh, Terrestrial. We actually do a decent amount to... um. 
two two quillfish with our star storm guy so wait yeah i think we just um i think we might just win potentially with the star stormer I think we just get more chip. This was my best move. I, 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 I... <laughs> this was in fact my best move, unfortunately. Anyways, Araconid, Terra Water, Mystic Water boosted. This is how you use Araconid, guys, offensively against my Terrapagos. It doesn't do that much. And now it's in range of Terra Star Storm. So I just have to rock polish and hope for the best. Total power. Let's go. Turtles on a half shell. Turtle power. Because we have the coverage we need. Earth power does big damage to Quillfish. Ice Beam for Dragapult. Ice Beam for... What's it called? Um, We just rock polish. I think. I mean, yeah, we rock, we rock, we rock polish. This will still do a lot of damage, but it won't kill, and that's the main thing. It won't kill. We're distorting the matchups, guys. Big damage. Holy shit, that did way more than Mystic Water. Um, and now we tear a Star Storm. Um. I mean, yeah. And let's hope it's not. I mean, we're faster than everything. I don't know if Pult dies to one Ice Beam. So that's another thing. I honestly hope they go into um, Overquill first. Or Quillfish first, I mean. Uh, because I think then, if that's the case, I think Scarf Goldango could clutch up. So, yeah. It doesn't... Yeah, Pult doesn't, looks like it doesn't die to one Ice Beam, unfortunately. Um, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We do get one kill, which is nice. So hopefully they give us Quillfish. Don't go into Dragapult. I'm a normal type. I'm a normal type. You don't want me. You don't want me to do normal type things. Draco would... Specs Draco would kill us. Uh, Non-Specs Draco, though, might not. It might not. Damn, that Araquanid went crazy. Obviously, you can't defense. You can defensively check Arachnid sometimes, but my team definitely not. <laughs> my only other option was Terra Water Come Fey, and while it did look good into this matchup, um, I opted not to bring it. Although that also would have probably got two KO'd by Mystic Water Arachnid. So, regardless, we'll see. Hopefully, I please give us Quillfish. I would love Quillfish. <laughs> I don't think Earth Power would kill Quillfish, but I'd rather get that out of the way so that I can. Uh, oh, shit. So that could Chris Scarf Goldango uh, potentially win. Um, but yeah, let's see what they do. I I'm really hoping it's uh, Quillfish. Betrayal. Oh, this is this is Dragapult. Okay, well, we have one win condition, guys, and it's called Ice Beam Freeze. Also, if they're just, like, not Omega Offensive, we could totally live a hit here. Um, but yeah, we do it. We click Ice Beam. Big Ice Beam. Big damage. Hey, man. I'm just saying. Don't instant thaw, Pult. Lumberry? Weakness policy? Oh, that's so cool. Don't instant thaw. Don't instant thaw. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm just saying. That's my mascot. I'm just saying. It is a bit of a betrayal. That's my mascot, baby. That's my mascot right there. <laughs> that's so fitting. It's very unfortunate, obviously, for my opponent to get frozen with Ice Beam. But, like, I'm just saying, man, it is my mascot for a reason, bro. It's my mascot for a reason. Who got betrayed? Not I. Not I. <laughs> You'll love to see it. So, yeah, now they go into Quillfish, and we get to chip it down, which is amazing. Um, we might not kill it, but at the same time, like, I mean, like, I, I, I'm just, it's just my button to click, you know? So, Earth Power and Terra Star Storm both do the same damage, but... This could get a spit F drop, so uh, we'll go for Earth Power. But yeah, I. Hey man, don't bring a pull against me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I try to warn people. <laughs> I do. I really do. 
Back in Gen 8, I used to say it all the time. Don't bring Dragapult against me. You will lose. But uh, we could still lose here for sure. We only have Goldengo in the back. Uh, that did huge damage. Crunch, don't kill me, please. Oh, you're so good. Never mind, Turtle Power. Turtle in a half shell. Turtle Power. <laughs> here we go, Wizzling. I will say, obviously, we might have lost. Well, no, we definitely lost if we didn't get that Dragapult Freeze because it was one, it was weakness policy. Holy shit. We definitely lost if uh, we didn't get that Ice Beam Freeze. But, like I said, that was the win condition. The other win condition would have been critting Make It Rain twice. So, yeah. Regardless, things you love to see. A turtle sweep. A turtle sweep, baby. You love to see it. I really thought I was going to lose this team. Ellie drafted, in, like, Ellie drafted my favorite team in the league. So, like, I, I fucks with it. I really like it. But, um... Turtle, it wasn't enough for Turtle Power <laughs> with, the, with the Ice Beam Freeze on the mascot Pokemon. What a nickname. What a funny what a funny interaction, man. That's going to be it, guys. That's going to be our uh, INT Week 2 battle. Uh, make sure you go check the homie Ellie out. Link to her channel in the description down below, as well as all the other coaches that are in the PPL. Bunch of great uh, individuals in this league. You don't want to miss any of the content that's going to be coming out here in the PPL Draft League, guys. But with that being said... If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button, like the video. Wait, I'm, I'm doing like the middle outro. Uh, if you like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.